to start drawing rooms to generate some heat loss values, you need to first go to the heat load tool on the top bar here, which will only be visible in floor plan mode. This will open up a selection of options. Next, if you click on rooms, you will see a selection of rooms with typical internal temperatures for these rooms. So I'm just going to select utility for now and then zoom in using the scroller on your mouse to where I want to start drawing. And if I just drop a little left click there, pull it across, left click again, drag it down, noticing that it snaps to 90 degrees, select the next corner and across again. I can now either hit the escape button or click done in the top corner here or right click to finish drawing that room. If I now switch to store for example, you could click on the first corner but instead this time I'm going to pull across a little bit and type 4.2 on my keyboard, press enter, that'll lock in that first dimension, pull it down in the other direction, type 3.5 on my keyboard, press enter, that'll lock in that dimension, and then you can either pull it across where it snaps to the 90 degrees, or again, type in the values and press enter. This can be very useful for rooms where you haven't got a PDF, for example, but you have written information and you could build the plan using the keyboard that way. It's good to note that H2X has now picked up that this is an internal wall, the green one. I've got my settings set to external walls as red and internal walls as green. So as I begin to build the floor plan, the rooms that are internal will be recognized by H2X. If I now move over to a different location on my PDF, such as the kitchen, where you can see that the wall is on a slight angle, go to rooms, the kitchen, click on this corner. You can see that H2X likes to stick on 90 degrees for now, but if you hold down shift on your keyboard, you can move it freely and draw this wall like so and then follow the process across, like so. I'm just going to drag it straight down now just to finish there. Don't need to do the whole room for this example. If you did need to modify the shape of any room at any point, you could use this add wall point feature here from the heat load tool. If I click on that, I can drop a point at any part of one of the current walls and a new vertex will be formed which will allow me to pull this out, like so. So I'll carry pulling that on out along. Maybe add another one here to pull that wall up. And essentially just repeat that process until the shape you had originally wanted was met. This can be handy for going into alcoves and things like that. However, you can also draw a room around alcoves from the start, like so. If I just go lounge, for example, I've got a bit of a weird shape here. You could just draw that straight away by clicking on each point like so. And it will draw different shapes and alcoves for you, like so. You could also click on any of the walls and change any of the default settings should you wish. For example, if this was a shared party wall, you might want to change the color to signify that. So if I make that one yellow, and I could also change the outside temperature with it being a shared party wall, it won't be exposed to the outside temperatures as the other external walls. So we could change that here. And you could also click on the room itself and change a number of settings here, such as the name of it, the color of it, the temperatures, the heights, you could add in a chimney. You can even override the heat loss should you wish and change a host of materials as well as the air change rates. Going to skip ahead and finish drawing out the floor plan for this level. And when we come back in a second, you will see the floor plan finished for the next part.
Now that I have got the ground floor laid out as I wish, if, for example, level one shared the exact same layout, the easiest way to replicate this to save time drawing it all out again, you could unlock the PDF here, click somewhere on the PDF. Once this box comes up here, go down here and press copy or control C on your keyboard. Move up to the next level and press paste here or control V on your keyboard. And as you can see, the floor plan has replicated across the two floors. Another way to do this if you're not using PDFs is to click and drag with the right click on your mouse like so, copy and paste. This has developed a total area for the building as well as total volume and heat loss and also a floor heat loss for this precise floor. And if we zoom in on each room, we get different information such as the height, the area, the volume, as well as the heat loss for that specific room. If you go to the results view here, open that up. We can add in extra settings or remove settings if you should wish. So for example, you might not want to know the height of the room on this drawing up to now. You might not want to know the volume or the area, so we can take that off and just have the heat loss showing. And that is everything on drawing rooms.